Hello everyone, this is Dee from AK Admin. This is the second part of the theorem of continuity. So, that we have to prove now. So, the given statement is, if V belongs to Y is open and the inverse image of V, that is F inverse of V is open in X. So, what we have to prove is that the function from X to Y is continuous. So, we have two spaces, X and Y, and there is a function from X to Y, and this is the target of our theorem that f is continuous. So let's take a random point a from space x and also take a neighborhood of that point a. Firstly, if there is a point a in x then there must be an image in y that is f away. So also take a neighborhood of this point. This is the neighborhood call it, let's call it n. And we know that f of a, the image of a, is a part of open set v that is in y. So now relation of v that is open set and then the neighborhood of the image of a can be written as that image of a belongs to open set v and v is a subset of the neighborhood of that image of a that is in. Again by using the given fact that inverse image of V is also open and contains the point A in X. So we can represent it as, so let's call the inverse image U, that U is equal to F inverse of V. So this is our supposition here. And if it take, if we take image on both sides, that if we take image of F of U, eventually what we have to do is, take the image of that inverse image of V. So this is the image of U or what we can write it as these cancel out each other and what we get here is only V. So this implies that the image of U is equal to V and V is eventually the subset of N. So this is the final result here. And the main thing that we have to get from this relation is f of u is a subset of n where n is the neighborhood of the image of a and f of u is the open set and this is what the definition of the continuity is that for each neighborhood of f of a there must exist an open set that contains the point a such that f of u is a subset of that open neighborhood so here the open neighborhood is n and the open set is f of u. Thus we have proved that if the inverse image of open set is open then the function is continuous from x to y. And combining both of the results from the previous video and this video that what in general we have proved that a function is continuous from x to y if and only if the inverse image of open set is open and this is also true if we talk about that inverse image of closed set is closed this is true for both open and closed sets this video is about inverse images of the open sets but going in the same way we can prove for this theorem for closed sets as well so this is for now. If you're looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.